Taika, is this is this your cool runnings? Yeah, is that inspiration for that you? was a big touchstone. Was cool runnings um, and many other sports films. Um, Miracle is another good one, which I had only discovered only like, while we were in prep for the film. Um, and you know, my whole life I've loved films about underdogs. All my films are about underdogs and people who are living on in the margins. And um, for me, it was a big part of this was like I, uh, I was attracted to the idea of it being a true story, but also just seeing. Pacific Islanders on screen and mm -hmm. yeah, us being able to tell a really uplifting story where you know, we can also share some of our, um, our ways of life and also the attitude of just you know, stop trying to control everything around mm -hmm. you and just breathe and be happy. Be happy. Jaya, what was your initial reaction to, to hearing that Taika wanted to turn your story into a movie? Um, I was extremely excited but also nervous. Um... Um, I understood then that the Hollywood audience is, is going to be a big one, and uh, that made me really nervous. Um, it meant that my story would be amplified, but it also meant that the Fafafina identity and um, the story of my team and of the Samoan people is going to be portrayed on um, a Hollywood feature film. The relationship between Michael Fassbender's coach and on-screen Jai is like really like the emotional heartbeat of the film. Ta Taika, what like what drove the decision to, to really frame this story around that? The documentary, you know, that's not a you know part of it, and it wasn't, you know, mm -hmm. like a real part of the real story, but it's in adapting anything, I always have to give myself permission to turn it into my own thing, mm -hmm. you know, turn it into my own version of event. I felt like the real heartbeat of the film was Jaya and Thomas's relationship. It really um you know, there's like a, a parallel with, with uh, Thomas's backstory there, and um, and which pays off later on when we find out, you know, why he's, um, you know, that just the more that he Don't hangs out edge. with Jaya, that yeah. you can sort of see where the, this father-daughter kind of yeah. um, dynamic starts to come into play. What do you guys think we can learn from this group of folks in their epic quest to maybe score a goal or two? I think that the, the movie and the story has a lot of lessons. Um, Sports fans can be taken back to the grassroots level where they um, are reminded of the reason why they play because they love the sport. Um, LGBTQI plus rainbow soji esque people can be inspired to live truthfully to themselves. Um, um, anti LGBTQI plus people can be can learn a little something about the beauty of um, the Fafafine identity and um, how in Samoan and Pacific cultures we're respected.